Hi, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create your very own professional looking Gmail signatures using tools that are absolutely and completely free. We've created two different templates you can use that don't require any knowledge to customize and make your own. Let's get started and show you how it's done. Most folks don't put a whole lot of effort into the design and layout of their email signatures. For a majority of people, a few lines of text displaying their name, job title, and perhaps a phone extension is all that's shown. But for those who want to enhance their communications with a measure of professionalism and polish, an attractive, informative, and functional email signature is an absolute must. There are definite do's and don'ts when it comes to creating an email signature, and like with most things, it can be easy to get carried away. Too much text and graphics can just look messy, while too little information might lead some to have to hunt and search for the places and platforms you may be on. While it's easy to create a nice looking graphic signature using any number of available online tools or services, it's really not the way to go due to the fact that the signature doesn't contain selectable text or hyperlinked elements. It's basically just a flattened graphic. Then of course there are the paid services that require a subscription and or monthly fee. Some may advertise as free, but the trade-off between product limitation and having to sign up for yet another new account doesn't really appeal to me. Considering all this, I felt the need to come up with a quick and easy solution for folks that results in what most probably would like to have if it didn't require a whole lot of time and effort to pull it off. Here's what I came up with. A Google Doc that you simply copy an email signature from and then paste into Gmail. It's pretty simple. Let's show you how to do it. We begin by opening a resource doc I created containing all the links and information needed to get the job done. You can access this by clicking the link in the video's description. Once clicked, you'll be prompted to make a copy of the file. This file will be owned by you and will reside in your Google Drive in the event you ever need to get back to it. We have two styles here. Style 1 has a profile image along with a space for your name, title, address, and then we have four social media icons. Style 2 has room for a profile picture, a divider bar, and then some simple contact information. All right, so you have two to choose from. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with style one. I want to replace this picture with a picture of myself. So the way we do this is by first selecting the image and then coming up to the replace image icon shown right here. I'll choose this option and then inside the downloads folder, this picture of me right here, I'll click open and then it brings it in. Because we just replaced the image, um, we don't have to mess with the size at all. It's going to look good now. At this point, what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll change this, this text. All right, So I'll carefully select the text inside where my name would go, and I'll type it in. And then you can customize the rest of the information here. Don't consider changing the font style. All right, I found that Arial is going to display just fine inside Gmail. So leave it set to Arial and don't change the um, font sizes either. All right, of course, this information that's going to be displayed down here is entirely up to you. The last things that we want to do is to change uh, where these links take us. And you might not want to have uh, a website link or Instagram. Twitter and YouTube. You might have some other services be down there in that location. So if that is the case, I've created a little template inside Google Drawings that lets you create your own. Let's say my theme is blue, my school district is blue, and uh, I want to use that color as the basis for my icons here. I'm going to scroll down to my notes here and it says create social media icons in Google Drawings with this template. So I'll click that link and click it once again, then I'll choose make a copy. Okay, here we are. You can see I've already got all these uh, more popular social media icons over here on the right. And all you have to do is copy and paste them into this area here. All right, so let's say, for example, I wanted to do, um, let me go back and see what I have. Let's say I wanted to do a Facebook icon, right? So what I'll do is I'll first delete that graphic off of there. And then I'm using a blue theme, so I'll change the color of this circle. All right, we do that by just clicking the paint tool and just find the shade of blue that you want to use. I'll use this one right here. All right, and so we're going to use the Facebook icon. So I'll just copy and paste that. 
then I'll move it over here and then I'll resize it and then I'll just sort of eyeball it. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard. If you hold down the shift key, you can move the object in much smaller increments. Okay, I think I'm going to resize this just a little bit more. There we go. That looks good. Right there like that. Okay. Uh, so at this point, it's ready to go. So what I'll do next is I'll click File. I'll say Download. I'm going to download this graphic as a ping file. All right, so let's choose that option. All right, and it just saved it to my downloads folder. I'll come back here to my resource dock and I'll select this first icon. All right, I'm going to replace it just like I did with my uh, user graphic over here. So I've got it selected. Then I'll choose replace image, upload from my computer. I'm going to grab the file that I just downloaded. Here it is. Click open and look there. So now at this point, all I would need to do is change the link. So this, if this is a Facebook link, a link to my Facebook page is what I'm going to put here in this section. All right, so we'll click uh, edit link, get rid of that information there, and type in the link to uh, your profile. Okay, basically what you do then is you just repeat that for the rest of these. Let's do this one more time. I want to create a blue Instagram icon. So I'm going to come back here uh, to drawings. I'll get rid of Facebook. I'll copy the Instagram logo here. Resize it. There we go. Looks good. Okay. File, download, and we'll say ping. All right. Give that a second to download. Okay, we'll come back to our resource document. We'll select the existing Instagram icon, then replace image, upload from our computer. Here it is. Okay, so I changed out all my social media buttons and I even changed the color of my text. Now I'm ready to get this in the Gmail. We need to select everything within this table. The way we do that is we're just gonna put our cursor right here and just click and then left click and drag and that's going to allow us to select everything in this table. Make sure you select everything. All right, so you're clicking and dragging all the way to the right. At this point, click on edit and choose copy or you could use the keyboard shortcut or right click and choose copy. Now we're going to head over to Gmail and we will go to our preferences. So let's click here and then go to all settings. We'll scroll down and we're going to create a new signature. All right, I'm just going to call this new demo signature. All right, click create. All we have to do is paste in what we previously copied. So I'm going to hold down Command V. I'm on a Mac here. And there it is. That's all there is to it. At this point, all you need to do is just go ahead and save your changes. And then if you want to use that in emails moving forward, just come back here. And we're going to say that for the signature defaults, we'll go new demo signature. We'll change it. There we go. New demo signature. All right. We'll save that. Now whenever we go to compose an email, there's our signature. If you have a Square user profile and you'd like to use it in Style 2, you can take advantage of this other template we've set up in uh, Google Drawings. And if you'll scroll down on the resource doc, simply click this link here. User pick is where it will take you. You're, of course, going to make a copy of that. Okay, here we are. Go ahead and select the image that's there. Then click Replace Image. Upload from your computer. Going to my desktop, here's the picture of me. It's a square image. That's okay. We'll go ahead and open it and it will bring it in and automatically uh, use that uh, image mask so that it's rounded. Okay. Uh, that looks the way I want it to. We'll click File and Download. Again, we're going to download this as a ping file. There it goes. Come back to our resource dock and we will select in Style 2. Uh, 
the current image and we choose replace image upload from computer we'll go to our downloads folder here it is the one I just downloaded and then it replaces it and here we are the color here of this vertical line is blue but if you wanted to change that let's say we wanted to change it to red you have the ability to do that as well it's easiest if you enlarge this dock before you attempt so we'll click up here and then go to 200 percent then we'll scroll, or scroll up just a little bit all you need to do is select the line so just click on it just like so and when you do that your toolbar will change all right it shows you the current color we can make this any other color we want to all right I'll say red there we go uh, we're gonna select everything just like we did in style one so I'm gonna come over here left click and drag so that everything is selected go to edit and copy then we'll come back to uh, Gmail go to our settings see all settings okay let's scroll down we'll create one more new signature here we'll call this uh, new version 2 we'll say red so we know what it is click create and we'll paste it in there it is all right and then we can save the changes you could click compose and then on the bottom here uh, choose the little insert signature option and then you're able to use one of the others that you've created so I'll say new version 2 red there we go it's just gonna replace that and then you're ready to go alright so these these two templates that we have for you uh, they're pretty simple they're basic but they're very functional and they look great alright so we we hope you can use them and that they'll serve you well did you use this signature we created if so let me know in the comments section of this video and if you enjoy watching videos like this be sure to subscribe and also click the notification bell so you know the moment new content is available